G'day everyone, my name's Robbie Alexander, it's not Nick Arnold, Nick Arnold is a subscriber of mine and he's actually asked me, Nick has said, forgot me glasses, hi Robbie, I've suggested this before but you said you would do it when the fishing slows down so I thought I would remind you, I suggested that you make a vid about what you take with you when you fish for cod, aka bags and more. So Nick Arnold has asked me this question, what do I take with me when I'm fishing for Murray Cod? Let's find out. Rightio, Nick, this is what I take with me. These pouches are camera lens pouches. When you buy decent quality Sigma lenses for your digital SLRs, they come with these pouches. I normally take the lens out of the pouch, never to be seen again, and I use the pouch for fishing purposes. In the pouch, in this one, first of all is my mobile phone. Then there is a battery pack with a, uh, a charger. It's a USB-C charger for GoPros. And I've got two little torches to help me find my way back to the car when it gets dark tonight. Or to stick in warm mouth when I hook a fish. And I'm gonna hold it up for the camera. So I've got a uh, mobile phone, two torches, and and my battery. This is actually a 10,000 milliamp charge. It's, this will charge both GoPros and my phone for most of the day. It keeps them going all well. So that's all put away for now. And this GoPro that I'm recording with now that uh, Brett's so kindly holding the camera with, when that goes flat, I'll stick it in this bag, plug it into that charger, and I'll pull out my other GoPro. So there's one pouch. I carry my sunglasses, usually on my face, but when it gets dark, I put them in my pocket. Now, I also carry a camera, a good quality camera, so that I'm not taking photos with mobile phones. Mobile phones do take good quality photos, particularly if, they're, if you're in the right angle and the right light, but they can also go really bad if you're not careful. This is my Canon G9X Mark II. That's a great camera for taking fish photos. It's got a reasonably fast lens. It's small, it's compact, and it's got what's called the micro, it's got what's called a one inch sensor. So the BSI, which is back screen illuminated, one inch sensor, which helps to take good quality photos in the dark. Canon G9X Mark II, that's the brother of the Canon G7X Mark II that I hold up and I talk to the camera with. The main difference is the G7X Mark II is a little bit better in low light and it's got a flip out screen so that when I'm filming myself I can see myself. But if I'm taking a photo of Brett or Loretta or whoever I'm fishing with with a nice fish, Canon G9X Mark II is a great camera. My asthma puffer because I'm a little bit wheezy sometimes. My GoPro Hero 5. At the moment we're filming with the GoPro Hero 7 and I've got the GoPro Hero 5 to put in there. So what I, what I used to do was film with the Hero 7, then when it went flat, plug it into the charger in that box and use the Hero 5. What I generally tend to do these days, I tend, generally tend to use the Hero 5 more as a battery charger. So I'll take the Hero 7 battery out, put it in the Hero 5, charge it and continue using the Hero 7. Just swap batteries over and the Hero 7 is my main workhorse. So in this bag, my Canon G9X Mark II, which is my main fishing camera for still photos, for magazine articles and just the stills in my videos, my asthma puffer and, a, uh, and my spare GoPro. I also always carry with me my Deeper Pro Plus Fish Finder. I might not use it in every video. In fact, I might not use it a whole lot. Places like where Brett and I are fishing tonight, we fish here quite a bit. It's close to Wangaratta. We've got you know half a dozen little spots that we go to different times. We haven't been to this one for a while, but I know what's out there because I've used my Pro Plus here in the past. So I don't need to use it every time to tell me that the same snags are there every time. But I still carry it with me just in case we get to a hole that we haven't fished before or somewhere I haven't fished or we go somewhere different so that I can just whip it out, use my mobile phone as the screen for my fish finder and I can just get a feel for what's around. So I carry it with me at all times because sometimes it does come in really, really handy, particularly when I'm fishing new waterways. Deeper Pro Plus. I carry my tackle box, which at the moment is running a little bit light. I've got a few soft plastics in there. I've got a few spinner baits, a couple of hard bodies, a couple of uh, 
a couple of surface lures, a couple of Domeki surface lures. So I've got my tackle box there with a few odds and ends in it. Nothing really fancy. I'm not going to go into that now. The video will be like 700 million tree and billion minutes long. Then, I don't normally carry old Mentos wrappers with me. They're just in there because I had hay fever a while back and the mint just helps clear the sinuses. In the bottom bit, I have my water bottle. I always carry water with me, even when it's cold, because water is the essence of life. You should always carry water with you. Even if you don't drink it, I might end up having to put it in my radiator, in my car. Who knows? Always carry water everywhere. My pliers and my fish grips. Now, let you know a little secret. These haven't been in my bag for the last hour. I put them in my bag to bring them out the river, but once I'm out the river, they go into my pockets, ready to go. So, that is what I carry in my bag. Oh, and I've got this, uh, I think it's a ridge line. No, it's not a ridge line. It's a stony, I've got this stony creek backpack. It's got a separation between the top and the bottom. And I like that, because I've got a lot of camera gear. At the moment, I've only got my G9X and my two GoPros. But sometimes I put my more expensive cameras in here, and just having the water in this bottom compartment is peace of mind for me. I know the water is in the bottom, so that if something goes wrong and the water bottle leaks, it's not gonna leak into the cameras up above. And also, if I'm wet wading across these creeks and across these rivers, and I get in a little bit deep, the water's only gonna to get to the water bottle and not to the camera gear. So this is a Stony Creek backpack. This is what I carry on my, most of my fishing trips like now, where Brett and I come out a few hours before sunset, there's flick lures for a few hours and walk the banks. Obviously, on extended trips, I carry more. I carry more food. If I knew there was rain coming, I might carry a raincoat. But for night, the, the majority of the time, just for these short Murray Cod fishing sessions, this is what I carry. Nick Arnold, I hope this has answered your question very, very well. And anybody else that might be asking the same question, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, why not consider doing so? And I'll see you in the next video. Have a go, Brett. Beautiful. Well done. Nailed it? Nailed it. Ha, ha, ha.